And how cool is that? I have my YouTube channel on the screen in my car. I think that is mint. Hello everyone, Andy here and welcome to another video on the ST. So a uh, bit of a long waited video, I've had quite a few comments on this and it's the new head unit that I've got for the car. So I'll just flip round and show it you now. So I've just turned the um, engine on and I've got it off at the moment, but so it just comes up with the uh, time date and the day of the week. So if I just it's press and hold and turn it on, um, well, radio's just come on straight away. Let me just turn that off. I'll turn the volume off for now. Let's just go to the main menu. So actually, before I go into it, uh, the reason I went for this one was I actually got recommended it um, on one of the Facebook groups. And uh, what I liked about it, first of all, it was cheap. Uh, it's a touch screen, it's got sat nav, it's got your phone, you can put your music on it if you want, and various other bits. Uh, but what I liked is the fact that it looks like a standard OEM unit. So when I'm in the car, it's not a massive flat screen, but it's perfectly fine for what I need. And um, like I was saying, what's really cool is the fact that this looks OEM to me. It just fits in, the plastic is the same color. I've not had to buy one of those horrible fascias that you have to get for the car. Um, screen is really, really good. Uh, see how well that comes across on the GoPro, but it's very, very clean. Uh, you can change things like the backgrounds and whatnot. Oh, and I'll make sure to pop a link to this in the description. It is an Android um, head unit that I got off AliExpress. So I'll put that in the description. Um, if you want to look to buy the same one, you can buy a two gig or a one gig. I've just got a one gig because I'm not looking to put loads of stuff on there. Um, I just downloaded like the maps onto it, uh, Google Maps, but let's just do a quick measurement. So I think it's basically seven inches, if you can see there across. So it's a decent sized screen and the picture quality is really, really good. So just showing you quickly along the top, we've got the menu, which takes you to here. And on here, you've got your settings, your apps and the built-in sat-nav. So you've got your volume here and to turn it off if you want manually, mute and media. So let's click on media. So at the moment, they just had just had some built-in kind of Chinese music uh, for turn it up. So obviously, you know, if you've got, um, uh, if you've uploaded or downloaded, however you say it, into the head unit, if you've got music um, and videos, then uh, the media um, button is the one that you're gonna be using. Uh, up at the top here, we've got nav. So if I was to click on that, that uses the uh, standard, uh, let me just go back. And as you can see, it just works like a sort of tablet. It's really, really good. Um, as you can see, the kind of, um, it's pretty smooth actually. Um, I was really surprised actually. I think for the price, it's very, very good. And so, yeah, you can zoom in and out. So with this, what I had to do was to download via my phone. So what I had to do was have this on connected to my home Wi-Fi turn on your hotspots and then on this unit you go into the settings and you find your phone as a hotspot and that way you can connect to the internet so that's how i downloaded the maps and able to use the internet which actually i think you can see at the top here that's showing that i've got internet connection i've got bluetooth because i've got my phone connected as well um, it's kind of like basically just having like a tablet in the car which is pretty cool so that was the um sat nav and then we've got b it says bt um, which then takes you to your phone settings. So I've just installed my uh, phone on here. You can have your music via your Bluetooth, all your call history, your contacts. So if you know if you want to do it um, on here rather than on your phone, um, then you can. Or you can have a manual there so you can press and type it in. Then just got a normal back button, so obviously that goes back to whatever. And then at the bottom right is tone. So if I click on that, you can adjust all your kind of audio settings in the car. I've just got mine on custom because I had a bit of a mess with it. Uh, and what's quite cool is in here, it's a bit like a Tesla. You can move the audio round. And if you can sort of see that, but you can move the audio exactly how you want it. So I just kind of want it default slap bang in the middle, maybe just a tad backwards. Um, if I go back to the menu, um, so here we've got the settings. So that goes actually back to the settings. So I'll go to the top one, you've got device port, and what's really cool is it 
tells you, if you click on them, it tells you what each of the ports at the back of this unit are. So that's quite a nice little bit of information. You've got like a back button at the top there, which sometimes you really have to press a little bit harder than you think. System info, so obviously all about the device. Sound settings, which we've done. Factory settings, car settings, set to car, no. No, nope, don't remember what that is. I don't think I've used that. Android settings. So that's things like um, I think is that the yep, that's your wireless um, kind of internet volume. So you've got your media, your call volume, mixing ratio, and default volume. Brightness. You can obviously have it what you want, how bright you want it at night time and in the day. Navigation. So I've got it set to the standard one, but we can do Google Maps. So I should be able to show you that. GPS detection. So this is pretty cool. So it just said GPS running, so now it will tell me, I think, how many and the strength of the signal. Steering learning, so this is really cool. So then if you can see if I go up close, but for example, the, um, oh, we've got one here. So actually I've not set that, so if I do that and then I press and hold, set up successful. So then if you just saw that then, I'll just do it again. So for the minus, volume minus, press and hold the minus set up successful so basically what you can do now is i've got my volume up and down i've got my radio seek phone in the back and mode button which you can see is set there and my seek and seek is set there so that's really cool but obviously if you wanted maybe mode to take you straight to your gps or straight to the radio i don't know whatever you want that's pretty cool logo um i think i've got mine set to i think it's the ford logo but i've not actually seen it um, yet so i'm not sure where that comes up uh, and some of the settings which i'm not 100 percent sure what that is so i think that is pretty much the whole of the unit um oh no what i'll do is so if i go here now this is all the apps which is really cool as you can see and the actual smoothness i don't know if it comes across that well on camera but it is very very smooth very very slick and um, you've got all just preset things in here. Um, you have got the Play Store, so obviously if you wanna download different apps, you can. Um, I've just downloaded uh, YouTube uh, at the moment, which if I just show you, so if I click on that, I think I'm connected to the internet. So I'll just let this load. And there we go, we are on YouTube. So I can click here in the top corner and go to my channel. And how cool is that? I have my YouTube channel on the screen in my car. I think that is mint. And um, so yeah, we can just you can just use it like you would any sort of tablet really. So let's see what the connection's like. Um, so this is the most recent, actually that, these are quite cool. 15% off on these car mats everyone. So make sure to go and check out the video. So this is real time, there we go. And the video loaded. And now if I want, I can make it bigger. And let me turn the volume up. This one for now. Just show you what. I so I'm not sure how well you can hear that, but if you look, so the video quality is really good. These are the I think it's. Um, I can't remember now if it's. It is HD, HD but whether or not it's. Pile, more dense pile. But whether or not it's 720 or 1080, I'm not 100 percent sure. But um, if you go to the link in the description for where I bought this unit from, you can go and have a look fully at the specs on it. But I mean, I think that is really, really impressive. So go to back. So let's go back to the menu back to the apps uh, and here you've got Google Maps let it load is connecting it says it there loading maps and there we go and what's really cool is if you can see if I zoom in it is basically you know using Google Maps so you've got like you can see the reds so you've got all the traffic info so that's better than the other one well for example if I didn't have my phone um, don't need that on if I didn't have my phone on me or for some reason I lost internet, then obviously instead of using Google Maps, uh, I can always just go and click on the nav button. And now that has taken me to the, um, I've got it set to offline mode. Um, so if I've ever got an issue, I can just use the built-in sat nav and at least I can get to uh, where I need to be. Go back to menu. I mean, there's various things obviously you can look at on this. Um, you know, you can download apps. So I'm guessing you could even like let your passenger probably play a game or something on here because it basically is just a seven inch tablet built into the car um but i do like how so actually i never showed you the radio did i um radio the last thing i've auto seek oops 
turn that down. Um, I've also seeked on what's cool is it has all the um, sort of info on there. So it's got the frequency, it's got the name, it's got actually what's on at the moment. Let me just show you another thing. So as I was saying before, so if I go to seek, I'll try and get both in shot. Look at that instantly. So I'm click, click, click. How cool is that? And then volume up and down. And volume up and down. Something I forgot to mention, um, I'll put this in somewhere in the video, but basically um, I wasn't too sure what the backlight was going to be on this and I was really chuffed because as some of you know, I have rechanged all the lights in here to blue and these are blue and red and look at that, the unit is red. How sick does that look? So if I turn it off, turn it on. I think that just looks so good. Again, if I look at the car now, I think it looks really OEM, if that makes sense. So it just looks like it was always in the car and that is what I want with this car. It's not over the top, everything just sort of feels like a new car. Um, you know, I feel like I'm making this um, Mark VI uh, facelift ST into like some sort of weird love child of a Mark VI facelift with a new type of Fiesta that never came out. So anyway, um, back to me talking with the rest of the video on this. So yeah, really happy with this. It was quite tricky to fit, I've got to say. Now, the other person who bought this, who recommended it, was a totally straight swap for them, so it was no problem whatsoever. Um, the issue I had was getting this in, um, don't know how it, if it comes across, but as you can see, it's, it's actually clicked in at the bottom, but not quite perfect at the top and the issue I had was at the side I think I took a picture so I'll show you I had to take the screws out and nudge the little bracket that clicks into place back about three to four mil and that's the only way I could get this to click in place so yeah I think for the price I do recommend it I uh, hope it's come across on camera sort of the sort of quality really uh, and the features that are on there as well I think it is really really good so if you like this head unit if you like this video then always please give me a thumbs up really appreciate that and also if you're new to the channel really appreciate if you subscribe and um, click the little bell icon to keep up to date with future videos uh, the channel's been growing really really well really chuffed with it so you know keep watching keep sharing keep liking leave me a comment always appreciate it i've got so much more content coming on this channel um my head's going to explode i've got so much going on with it and um, spent so much money already um which i hope comes across because geez I, you know i'm probably doing two to three videos a week um keeping that pretty consistent uh, pretty happy with that i uh, had some really good comments and feedback on facebook groups so um yeah i'm pretty happy with how it's turning out and um yeah let's just hope it keeps growing and hopefully the more i grow i might be able to do things like give back to everyone you know do some sort of giveaways i think that would be awesome if i can get to that point but at the moment my channel is really small and i've run out of money so i need to do some saving up to get more stuff done on this car but don't worry I've got some videos preset while recording this and I've got other things yet to do. So, okay, I better leave the video there. It's been quite a long video, but I wanted to try and show you in as much detail what this head unit can do. And hopefully it helps you in choosing if you'd like to buy one of these or not. Thanks everyone again for watching and see you all in the next video. Bye.